video of a day in the life of me being on call as a sane nurse. I'm still in training. I've only had two, yeah, two out of five of my required shadows. I've only had two so far, um, but I'm on call to shadow like the next one when they get a call out, you know, for a survivor. But basically it's just like being on call working I really can't do anything because if they call, I have to be available to go and assist with the call within 45 minutes, I think, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the location. Um, but I find that to be very tedious to just be home, not doing anything all day, and then don't get no call. And I'm not getting paid unless I actually get called out. Then my training, I get paid for my training. But to be on call, waiting for a nurse to call, I'm not getting paid. So that sucks for me. But today I got some things to do. I actually have to go to the office to pick up my binder, um, a part of my badge to, that allow me to open the doors. And I got to check on my check that I'm supposed to get. I think it might be mail for the first one. That sucks. Um... Yeah, so, but I got to figure out which office I need to go to because it's two different offices. And I really don't want to go to one without going all the way to the other one. I emailed the lady. Well, she hasn't called yet, but I, maybe I just called. I don't like to be a bother to people. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm basically just going to get dressed. I got my scrub top in the car and a jacket. I have my bag right there. Maybe I'll show you what's in my bag. And I'm going to go try to take care of these things. Hopefully, I do get a call out. Of course, I can't record that. But if I get a call out, at least I'll start being on the clock. And that'll be one shadow closer to me um, being on my own. But I'm just getting dressed just in case if I get called out. Then I don't have to come all the way back home to get dressed. I guess that's the only way that you can do it to be productive and be ready at the same time. So, let's go. Okay. I really need to take these braids out. So looking at the time, I didn't realize it was that late. The office is probably gonna be closed by the time I get there. Both of them closes at five, which the one that I'm going to is only open Monday through Friday. The other one will be open tomorrow, so I can easily just ride out there tomorrow. And that's the issue. I need the little part to go on my badge where I can open doors. I can't open any doors, so I have to go there during business hours. But the only thing that I need to do is pick up that key thingy, get my binder, so I can be going over other policies and procedures so that when I'm on my own, I can be a little more comfortable. So I want that binder. Um, but I'm going to this other one anyway, just in case, because there's a cookie store out there that girl friday whatever it's a cookie place out there and i want to get some cookies so it won't be a busted trip if i don't catch it open i have about 20 minutes i mean i'm really just going to be getting there right at the time but hopefully i just got to go and just pick up the, the little key thing all right i'll show you what's in my bag in a little bit um, I don't know what else is going to be on this vlog or even if this is going to be a vlog or maybe I just include other things I don't know I'm sorry I got to run this light Ooh. Oh he ran out of gas bro. Oh somebody get out of here Oh somebody running to go push him for him Oh, oh boy All right, ooh. I made it, y'all, with three minutes to spare. She was like, you almost missed us. I know, child, I know. This is what I came to get. So this is like my little key fob. So I have access to the safe center where we do the actual examinations and whatnot in case I'm on call after hours or once it's closed on the weekend. I have access now. 
kind of like being official. But yeah, I literally had like three minutes to spare. Did that. Now I can go get my cookies. And then tomorrow, I will probably go get my binder. Or maybe I just ride by there and if I see someone there, then I go pick it up. Because I'm on call till 7. All right, guys. So today is day two. Let me turn this down. So yesterday I was I started the vlog because I went to go get my key um, to go on my badge um, so that I have access to the building and whatnot. And today is Saturday, and I was called out to a case. I mean, that's not a good thing. Honestly, it's very sad. Anytime you call out to a case, that means that someone had to be a, a victim. Someone had to be assaulted. But I was able to um, shadow another nurse. Actually, I did about 75% of this exam. Um, so she was kind of, this particular nurse who I was following, she was kind of, she was a little aggressive, but you know, I can, I can hold my own. I'm got, I got a girl, I'm good. I'm a whole nurse up in here. Um, but she was basically okay. I'm gonna let you do it and you do this you do this you do this do this But she was able to step in like if I was gonna say something Not say something wrong, but say like unnecessary stuff that's on the paperwork Like I didn't really have to say, you know, I could paraphrase different things and she basically Instead of me reading it verbatim and she basically, you know, put it in layman's term for the for the patient and I'll get to that eventually I just didn't want to mess up and forget to say something that's very important um so she was helping with that i did the evidence collections i actually took photos which i was kind of afraid because i'm not familiar with the, the camera i'm only good with an iphone but hey don't judge me um but yeah i was able to use the nokia i think this done right there and so this was done at the hospital so now we're back at the office so i can actually do the paperwork and to, um, file the evidence um I did not do the um, speculum exam only because I, I don't think she was comfortable. I wasn't comfortable because you could tell that the survivor, that part, you know, that's a that's a very tough and trying part. All right, I'm going to go because I got to go inside the office, see if these keys work, get my binder, and do all my paperwork and stuff. I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, yeah, today was an extremely busy day. So I witnessed two exams today, which I participated on both of them. The first one I did about 75%. I did everything on the first one except for the vaginal exam. And then on the second one today, I didn't do any of it except the vaginal exam. So basically I've done one complete um, sexual assault examination total one complete one by myself well she had to help me of course with the paperwork make sure everything was correct or do corrections or whatnot but yeah so i was able to do that like i said i have my key it works but i don't have access yet to um like the alarm systems and stuff so i can't really do on call by myself because i won't have access to the building unless someone else is already there um i got my binder which is kind of like a cheat sheet to help throughout but I'm quite sure whenever I'm on a case by myself, it's going to be something I've never seen before, something I never had to do, and I'm it's not going to be in that binder, and I'm going to have to try to figure out and call somebody or just leave it. I don't know. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. I was able to do things that I didn't see in the previous exams, such as give medications um, like for STI prophylactics, um, the referral for the HIV prophylactics, um, what else I got to see today? I did all the um, swabs and everything. Like I said, I was able to do the speculum exam. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. I'm so tired. I am so wore out. So I got the initial call today, like around 7.15. We got there about 8.15, 8.30. And I didn't leave there until 6.30. So that was about 10 hours. Like I said, I had we, we had a total of two 
exams at that point and she was actually about to do a third one she was going to take a lunch because i haven't eaten anything but she was going to take a lunch and she was going to do a third one she actually signed up to do 7p to 7a i mean 7a to 7p and then 7p to 7a so she's doing like a whole shift i originally only signed up from seven to one but i told her that i would go ahead and stay to see the second one or to you know participate in the second one because they come so far in between and i have to have five in order to get checked off so right now technically i'm at four she asked me how do i feel about doing it on my own i told her i probably can at least get to do one more which i would do one more to make the fifth one but i would kind of like tell the nurse let me just do it all you just check behind me basically but it takes so long but i know that's the process until you know you're know what to do what to look for what to ask otherwise you're reading every little thing you know dotting every i crossing every t and you know i'm just i don't want to leave nothing open for the maternities if it get called to court and i look crazy on the stand child but yeah that's it y'all so that's my experience of my um forensic um forensic nurse what it is i'm so tired y'all sexual assault nurse examiner training in order for me to become sane trained which i'm like one exam away i am getting paid when i go out on these calls i'm getting paid but i'm getting paid hourly versus the on-call rate but yeah i mean it's a good experience it's interesting every case is different every case is like oh my gosh you know and i feel for the patient survivor and i'm just glad i could do my part in the community but that's it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Leave any comments, questions below. I'm pretty sure you might have some questions on the qualifications, um, what classes did I take, certifications, what to expect. I mean, I'll be happy to answer any of those because there's really not that much information on YouTube about um, SANE or sexual assault nurse examiners or about forensic nursing because, you know, I'm a forensic nursing student. That's Reminds me, I got to go in here and do my homework, y'all. I'm, I'm just doing too much. I need to sit down. That's what I need to do. But it looked dark because I'm sitting in the garage. I ain't get out the car and I just decided to go ahead and finish this vlog. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.